This is this is Dallas Sports 1977 coming to you from here in Southwood at the park right now. I got me a new hat and everything and stuff. Uh, it's got Dallas Cowboys 1977 and a star in the back and everything. Uh, so right now uh, we got the Hall of Fame game coming up and everything and stuff. Um, it's going to be a new exciting season. I'm going to show y'all what the hat looked like. It's got the star right there. Uh, it's got uh, 1977 right there and Cowboys right there. And so um, it's just like when you get something new, you always have to um, want to look good. When you look good, you feel good. And, uh, and so the Dallas Cowboys, this is our new season and everything. Um, this is our 61st six six season. And this, we got to forget about what happened last year. It's time for new. We brought in our, uh, the mighty Dan Quinn, and I really do believe that Dan Quinn is going to uh, rectify this defense to the point where it'd be absolutely better than it has before. Um, and I'm saying that uh, not only because I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan, I'm saying it because I really do believe because he got less on his plate to, to, to figure out what's wrong with this de de defense and everything. And what's been wrong with the defense is that they had things where the players were having a hard time trying to trying to adjust and cope with what's going on. And then Mike Nolan, he was out of touch and everything and stuff. So when you get something new, when a lady go to a, a department store and buy buy a dress, or a man go to a man's store and buy a suit, and you put it go back to the house and you put it on and you stand in the mirror and look in the mirror, oh that looked fantastic and amazing and awesome. That's the same thing about how the Dallas Cowboys are. We we got something new, uh, and uh, and I'm really ex excited about this new season and everything. Um, I'm not going to let uh, no haters out there like Stephen A. Smith, Dan Orlowski, Mike Greenberg, or Kimberly Martin, or uh, um, any of those talking heads on NFL Network, uh, uh, ESPN analysts, get get my spirits down because guess what? We we got this new season. We got something to be uh, uh, looking forward to. And I'm speaking to all of the Dallas Cowboy fans all over America and in the world. You be energetic, you be, um, you be blessed and, and hold your hands up. And let's stand behind our team because this is gonna be a great year. I really do believe we're gonna do something special. I, I'm predicting, I'm going, even though I'm like, uh, I was looking at um, some of the other YouTubers was out at training camp in Arksnock, California, like Big Game James, Law Nation, uh, and uh, boss, uh, I can't think of the other guy, boy, cowboy fan talk. I don't know if he was there, but they was all saying that uh, don't drink the Kool Aid. Don't. Uh, well, I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna go and drink the Kool Aid. I'm predicting that we win 11 games or more, win the NFC East, and upset Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the first game of the season. I really do think we have the capability to do that. And, in the, and, and then the Hall of Fame game where we playing against the Pittsburgh Steelers, most likely we will not show our hand completely because we don't want Tampa Bay to know what we're doing against them. So that's not a good thing to show your hand. And so that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about our beloved Dallas Cowboys. I'm showing y'all how beautiful it is this morning, everything here at the park. It is a beautiful, uh, sunny, beautiful day uh, this morning. And... Uh, I, uh, I don't know how it is in where you where you live if you live in Texas or California up north but in this we are in Florida it gets hot very extremely hot here in Florida but uh, uh, this this is this is going to be a great year I, I just came off uh, the music festival at uh, Hard Rock Stadium um, I got back on Monday um, from Miami Florida where we had the music festival it was a it was something for the eye to see. It was, it was crazy. Young young people dressed, almost showing everything they got and everything. That's understandable how this young generation is. But it was it was crazy. But getting back to the Dallas Cowboys, I um, I'm I'm so happy and pleased how things are going right now. Even though we ain't got that many injuries from uh, practice right now from the training camp, uh, I uh. I, I hope that in, on uh, on offense, one thing about our offense, our offense is going to have to carry our team. And the offense, if it can average from 31 to 38 points per game, it's going to make it difficult for other teams 
to stick up with us and everything and stuff. So that will help our team and everything. So the offense is going to have to carry this team. But I really do believe if our defense can go from the 29th ranked defense to about 15th or 12th ranked defense, that will put us close to getting to an NFC Conference title game and, and knocking off Tampa Bay or either knocking off Green Bay. That's probably going to be the only, and, and probably Seattle, and the Rams are probably going to be the ones going to be in our way for us to get to um, a Super Bowl. So, yes, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid this morning and everything, but because uh, I, I, I've been a Dallas Cowboy fan since 1966 to now to 2021. So I'm not changing. Uh, sometimes uh, Stephen A. Smith called us delusional. Maybe I am delusional, but to the point where, but I'm fact, I'm fact, uh, I, I go, I bring facts. Facts is important. And so as a Dallas Cowboy fan, America's team, we have a lot to be thankful for. We have, we have, we, we follow one of the greatest franchises to ever been assembled on God's green earth. And um, we had a legendary Tom Landry at quarterback, I mean, at, uh, at coach, excuse me, at coach, uh, Don Meredith, uh, Roger Staubach, backup Danny White, uh, Troy Eggman, uh, Tony Romo. Now we have uh, Dakota Prescott, and he was a fourth round pick out of Mississippi State, and, and he's doing a wonderful, fantastic job. So uh, that's about all that I'm gonna talk about this morning. Good morning. Good morning. But that's all. But I'm only going to talk about this morning. I'm just. I'm saying this that it is just uh, really enthusiastic and a happy day. And I want to speak to the fans everywhere. You put God first in your life. Show love towards one another and help one another and bless one another. And you haters out there to get on our channels and talk bad about our team and talk bad about the Cowboys because you hate the Dallas Cowboys. I, you have, the reason why y'all hate us is because our, we, we, our franchise is a five-star franchise. And y'all franchises ain't never been that good. Unless you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Green Bay Packers, or the 49ers, or the New England Patriots. That's about it. And, everybody, and, that's, and that's, about, that's about it. Everybody else is mediocre. So I can understand why you're hating us. But I forgive you. But I'm saying this. Um... That's that stick together. That's help one another. That's love one another. Uh, God has been good to us. He's blessed us through the years, and we give credit and praise to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. But uh, it, it, in this world, we have a lot to deal with, and God wants us to be happy, and, be, and He wants us to be joyous. So, I'm I'm just speaking on life and everything, and our Dallas Cowboys and how. We've been uh, we've been blessed through the years and stuff, even though through the difficult time. Uh, I'm going to show you what it looked like right here. See the water over there and everything, the lake right there, uh, and and the beautiful trees and the houses and everything over there. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place right here. Um, so uh, let's get back to the subject what we're talking about, and that's and that's the America's team. Uh, I know. Uh, it's been 25 long painful years that we have not done anything since the 90s since we won the world championship beating Pittsburgh um, uh, in Arizona that's, and that's when um, Larry Brown intercepted what two passes in that game and he was the MVP that was the last time we have done anything so I know we have not much to stick our chest out and everything but guess what as true fans and true people that love family and love friends and, and, and we're family because we're America's team, we're family. We stick together. You stick together through thick and thin and, and that's what a true fan is. Something, uh, if it says fanatic, but you stick together through ups and downs. That's, 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 that's cheer ourselves up and let's be happy. Uh, we're Dallas Cowboys everywhere. I'm speaking to the fans everywhere. Stop fighting against your brother and, and sisters. And calling them names and everything on YouTube and Facebook, and uh, and and sending them bad texts, and that's show kindness and be helpful to one another. I really do believe we got the, the great and special ingredients to be something special this year, and uh, and I'm and and I say it again, I really do think we can do something great. 
This is Dallas Sports 1977 from Tallahassee, Florida, coming to you. And uh, you put God first in your life. Show love and show happiness. Thank you. Have a great day.